When the ferry leaves in Ogosawara, the locals all gather on the dock and make a show of it. Everyone is cheering and small boats escort the behemoth out of the bay. The people of Chichijima are very caring. They go out of their way to make the visitors to the island happy. But soon after that, came our time to leave too. This passage was the coldest and wildest we've ever done. So, it's going to be a, the only footage of the trip that we have to what happened. We left in, a, in what we thought was a good weather window, but it wasn't. And we spent four days not eating, sleeping badly, and uh, I don't know, riding under 30 to 40 knots. And we didn't even make it to work on our own. The weather was horrible, the water cold, but seeing this symbol of Japan ahead gave us hope. We made it, finally. Pino found safe harbor in the port of Shimizu. We arrived in mid-March, with the weather still very cold, to find that our diesel heater was broken. Another thing to add to the list of things we need to fix. On arrival, we experienced Japanese omotenashi, or hospitality. It is about offering the best service without the expectation of reward, to anticipate the needs of your guests. Every day, someone would be on the dock to welcome us, to say hello or to invite us somewhere. Nobu and Kazuponsan, who are local sailors, would come almost every day to make sure we were comfortable. Through them, we met a lot of other sailors. We had nabe parties in the marina, as well as tempura cooking parties on the docks. We became fast friends, and in a drunken stupor, we agreed to a soba-making battle against Nobusan. He'd heard that we liked to make soba on the boat and wanted to put our skills to the test. We joined him in his workshop, and there the battle started. We never did find out who won in the end, but we had a great evening and learned a few new tricks to making soba. Nobusan is a true soba master. On another day, Kazuponsan invited us for a sail out into Suruga Bay. The weather in Japan changes quickly. At first it was nice and sunny, and then gray clouds rolled in. And with them came 30 knot winds. The crew of Yochi Yochi handled the shifts in the winds well. They're very good yachtsmen, and we have a lot of admiration for them. And meanwhile, we sat comfortably in the back, enjoying the ride. It was nice not to be sailing ourselves for once. We also befriended the crew of a large sailing yacht called Don Threader. The yacht is used for small excursions along the east coast of Japan, to teach people to sail. Masa and Yukari-san invited us aboard. They made us an amazing dinner of konyaku, rice, tsukemono, and salad, and treated us to a magic show and a shamisen performance. On another outing, we went to a tea shop outside of town. After we had some matcha, we wandered outside through fields of green tea. The plants were all lined up in perfect rows, undulating with the terrain. We'd read a lot about tea production, but this was the first time seeing it in person. 
we left the Zen Tea Gardens for the concrete jungle of Tokyo. Our bikes came along for the ride. Coming without them wasn't an option. Even if Tokyo is densely populated, cycling here is very safe. The winding streets makes it easy to get lost, but we also discover a lot of hidden places that way. There are many districts and all have something different to offer. Getting lost in Tokyo is definitely our favorite thing to do. During our stay, we met up with some of our friends and had an evening of music at Pico Pico Cafe. Devin gave a small demonstration of orca during the event. We met with people we hadn't seen in four years. We were happy to be amongst creative people again. This past month went by fast. Our friends in Shimizu and in Tokyo have been very kind to us. In truth, it's been almost dreamlike. The phrase, we came back to Japan by boat, comes to mind often. Just can't believe we did this. It was a crazy idea back then, and doesn't feel any less crazy now either. And I can't wait to see what's in store for us. As always, thank you for keeping us afloat. Let me carry on, let me go.